Here we're going to tie a fly called the Psycho Prince Nymph. First thing we're going to do is just get some tan thread started. Then we're going to take our thread all the way back to the bend of the hook there. Now we're ready for our turkey biots and we're going to use either natural colored turkey biots or some brown colored turkey biots. Either work just fine. And we're going to adjust these biots so that they face away from each other and splay away like so. And you want the tips to be nice and even. You want those to be about half to three quarters of the length of the shank of the hook. We're going to tie those in, try to get them to splay away from each other. We're going to take our thread forward. As we get near the bead, we can just take these biots and trim them out of the way. See our tails, how they splay away. Next thing to do is to take a piece of copper wire. We're going to tie this copper wire on the inside of the hook or the side of the hook. We're going to take that all the way back to the tail. Take our thread back forward. Next we're going to tie in either a chunk of turkey tail or what I'm going to use here just some pheasant tail. I usually have pheasant tail readily available. It's something I use a lot so that works just fine. We're just going to take a strip of that of about six or seven fibers. Careful not to overdo it. I'm going to tie these in right on top of the shank of the hook. Take those all the way back to the tail. Now we're ready to dub the body. We're just going to use some purple ice dubbing. Gotta be careful not to overdo it on this fly with the dubbing. You can get very carried away, make it too shaggy. You just add enough to coat the thread. Usually what I do is I just add little by little. Start with just a small amount and you can slowly build it up as you move forward. We're going to take this dubbing about three quarters of the way up. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an area behind the bead for the wing case and the legs and all that. Just add a little bit more, just a tiny bit. And if it gets a little shaggy, you can just give it a little bit of a haircut. There we go. Now we're ready to take that backing material here and just take it right over the top. Just like so and lash it down. We're going to take our wire. We're just going to segment the casing and the body with this wire. Usually only takes about four to five wraps. Then we can capture it. Then we could trim out the pheasant tail. Now we're ready to tie in our wing buds, which are just going to be 
a clump of DNA hollow fusion fibers. Any very fine flashy material will work. Angel hair is a, another great material for this. I think that's actually what Mike Mercer likes to use. Either, either material does the job. It's just a really fine flash is all it is. You could trim out the portion of the flash hanging off the bead off the front. We tie that in in line with the casing just sticking straight off the back of the fly. Now we're going to add just another small collar of purple dubbing. Got to be careful not to add too much here. It's just a, another collar, just a tiny bit. trim out all the shagginess. Next thing to do is to tie in the legs. For this we're just going to use some white turkey biot. We're just going to tie those in about three quarters of the length of the body. And they're going to flare to the side. Do the same thing on each side. If you make one a little long, you can just take the biot and pull it down to the right length. And wrapping them back against that little collar of dubbing will cause them to flare, which is what we want, to flare out to the side. Now, for the last step, we're going to take some brown ice dubbing, just a little bit once again. And we're going to make a collar with that. Careful not to overdo it on this step either. It's just going to be a little collar. And you can trim the wing buds. Trim out any of the really shaggy fibers. And you can whip finish. And that's all there is to the Psycho Prince Nymph. Very effective trout fly, tractor pattern, great steelhead fly as well when you tie it in the larger sizes. You can tie it in other colors. This is the purple, of course. You can tie it in a orange. And I think Mike Mercer has a few other colors that he ties it in. Great little attractor pattern, searching fly. Good in high water as well. That's all there is to the Psycho Prince.